Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know if you're receiving the message that your app needs to be updated if you've upgraded to Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. The message would look similar to the one that's on my screen currently where it says the app needs to be updated but where it says app it will actually say the name of your application and that the developer of the app needs to update it to work with this version of Mac OS. Now what this means is that you're trying to run an app that is a 32-bit application and Mac OS 10.15 Catalina happens to be the first operating system by Apple that does not support 32-bit applications. Now this isn't a surprise. Apple let us know that this was coming. However, it is still an issue. So uh, here's what we can do if you're receiving this message. The first thing that you want to do is you want to try and identify what app it is that is causing the problem if you can't tell from this message right here. So we need to access the About This Mac screen, which you can see is already up on my computer. It's this screen right here. But I got here by going up to the top left of my screen, clicking on the Apple menu, and then clicking on About This Mac. Okay, so here's the screen I was talking about. Now from this screen, what we can do is we can actually go down here to System Report. And there's a couple areas that we want to take a look at here in System Report. The first one is we're going to scroll all the way down to the Software section and we're going to take a look in the legacy software section. So if you have any 32-bit applications on your computer, they should be listed here. And when you upgraded to Mac OS 10.15 Catalina, you should have received a message letting you know that some of your apps were not going to be compatible. Now, alternatively, if you don't see any information here, or if you're looking to find more information, you can go over here to the left and click on Applications. Now, it will take a second to load, as you can see down here at the bottom. But once it does, we're presented with a list of all the applications on our computer. Okay, so now we could actually go through this list and we could click on any of these applications. And you'll notice that it tells us right here where it says kind, if it is a 64-bit app or not. So, like I said, if you have a 32-bit app on your computer, it should be showing up in legacy software. But if it doesn't, you could go through this applications list to find it. Now, what do you do when you discover that you're using a 32-bit application and you need to run it on Mac OS 10.15 Catalina? Well, you have a few options, but depending on your situation, they may not be ideal. But let's take a look. So I'm going to open up my Google Chrome browser here. I have a few tabs open. The first one is a tabs to parallels.com. Parallels is an application that allows you to run virtual computers on Mac. So you can actually run Windows on Mac, or you can run an older version of Mac on Mac. So you could run Mac OS 10.14 Mojave on Mac 10.15 Catalina, and then you could use your 32-bit applications because 10.14 Mojave, the last operating system released by Apple before Catalina, does support 32-bit applications. So that being said, you could install Parallels on your Catalina operating system and then run Mojave from there. So here's where you can get Parallels. If you'd like to see a video tutorial on how to install and run Parallels, please let me know in the comments section of this video here on YouTube, and I'll do my best to get that up for you. Now, the other option that we have is we could simply just downgrade our operating system. So you can see uh, we could go back to Mac OS Mojave. I know that seems somewhat counterintuitive, but if you're using an application that you need for work or that you just absolutely can't do without, this is a very viable option for you until the developers of your application upgrade the application so that it is compatible with the new operating systems of Mac OS. If you'd like me to publish a video on how to downgrade your operating system from Mac OS 10.15 Catalina to Mac OS 10.14 Mojave, please let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to get that video up here on YouTube. Now, I think it's also important to mention that this isn't really Apple's fault, okay? 32-bit applications are old. They were developed a long time ago, and it's been a long time coming that operating systems no longer support their use. So the people that you should be mad at aren't Apple, but rather those who developed 32-bit applications. Mac has been focusing on 64-bit applications since Mac OS Snow Leopard, which was quite a while ago. Uh, so, you know, it's been a long time coming. 64-bit applications run a lot smoother, a lot faster. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to benefit you that some of these software developers are being forced to upgrade their apps to 64-bit versions. So that's essentially the situation. You can either run Parallels to run an older version of Mac and install your apps on that version, or you can downgrade to Mac OS Mojave, or you can beat the door down for the app developer that you're trying to use and tell them, hey, you need to update your app to be 64-bit because I can't run it right now. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.